I'm Dr. Strictly, the editor of Miracle Monocle, and this is your Miracle Monocle Minute. Today I'm here with one of our wonderful editorial interns on the staff, and we're here to talk to you a bit about what's shaken um, in Miracle Monocle land, U of L creative writing, and the larger Louisville creative writing community. So one thing we can tell you about is that we do have a current open call for submissions. Yes, our topic is You Blew It. Submissions are open through March 13th, so tell us all about how you play with it. I love it. So we're looking for comedic takes, but also maybe slightly twisted takes on this theme. Um, we can't wait to see what you submit. So no fee for submission. You can hit us up on submittable before March 13th or before we hit our submission cap. We also want to let you know that we are nearing our final decision on the Miracle Monocle Award for Young Black Writers. And as a student editor, I can say that there's a very good result um, choosing to get all of the talented uh, work that we've seen. Yeah, we had a really good problem, which, we, which is that we had so many fantastic submissions. So we are very excited to be on the brink of making our announcement. The award includes publication in the journal, a cash prize, and a letterpress broadside of the winning piece. We also want to let you know that U of L Creative Writing is bringing Ross Gay as our next Axton reader this season. We'll be doing a reading and a craft talk. So the reading will take place March 9th at 7.30 p.m. in the Chow Auditorium. And then we'll be doing a, a craft talk the following day, March 10th at 10 a.m. in Bingham. Um, Ross Gay is, I don't know, can you be a celebrity poet? I think, <laughs> I think if there is such a thing as a celebrity poet, he might be one. Um, his book, Inciting Joy, um, has been a fantastic uh, bestseller. Um, and I think we could all use a little joy in our lives. I agree. So be sure to catch Ross Gay. Uh, we also want to let you know that the annual Poetry Derby is happening. This year's theme is the anthem for the 21st century. Uh, Dr. Christy Max Maxwell, who is one of our faculty writers here, will be facilitating a number of sessions in town. Those will be taking place on March 2nd, 4th, and 5th. So you can see the Louisville Free Public Library website for the details on that. I do want to make sure you know that there are special team sessions available. I believe that's a new feature this year, so check that out. So what's your favorite indie bookstore in town? Carmichael's. <laughs> yes. We love Carmichael's. We want to be sure that you know that they have a number of events coming down the pike in March. So hop over to their website, click on the events calendar, and you'll see um, there's some interesting YA, some historical stuff, go see some writers. You can also join their book club. Uh, I think that meets at the end of the month, so that's a fantastic opportunity for the readers and writers amongst us. And then we also want to make sure to plug the KMAC Poetry Slams. This is the Kentucky Museum of Arts and Crafts. The final Saturday of every month, they host a poetry slam and it, it is and freaking tastic. It is a really good time, a chance to see young writers perform. Actually, that's not necessarily young writers. There's some there's some old old ladies like me um, mm -hmm. throwing down slam too. Uh, these events are free and open to the public, and we really encourage you to get out there and get involved in the creative writing community here in Louisville. Anything you'd like to say as a parting word? Um, thank you all for listening. That's perfect. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you next time for your Miracle Monocle Minute.